Minecraft 101 fans, welcome back. We're playing Hexit today again. Uh, I've got some really cool new stuff to show you. Um, since the last time I took care of that well, tore it down, filled it in, uh, recovered what resources I could from it, and uh, marked it. Here we died in a died of lava in a well, <laughs> just to uh, memorialize uh, not our first death, but our certainly our most spectacular. Um, while playing Hexit. I've got some things to show you, so before I um, get into harvesting the garden and deciding what the heck we're going to do today, because I don't really have a plan, I just kind of came on and figured, well, you know what, I'm going to play. As you can see, I've put in a road. Um, just nothing fancy, just a little path to... Uh, oh, I could have sworn I just heard a spider. Ah, I did hear a spider. Well, we'll worry about him when he shows up. Uh, nothing fancy, just to get back and forth between the, the main base and our, our, or our first base, I should say, and the, the um, main base, which is now complete. Um, as you can see, I've fenced it in just to keep the creepers and so on. I mean, it won't keep spiders out, but it'll keep most of the mobs out. Um, kind of just protect our space a little bit. Nothing Nothing too fancy. I added a, a gate back here so we can go get wood and, and explore over that way too. Um, I just, you know, uh, oh, that's odd. Oh, I think a creeper blew up that thing that was here. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that happened. Okay, well, that's one of the portals down. Those portals are screwed up. At some point we will go explore a portal and kind of figure out the deal with those, but I think I need to do a little more research before I go running through strange portals and getting lost. Uh, maybe if I save my game first so that we can come back if I get trapped in one. So at any rate, here is the main interior room. I have not really done a ton of interior decorating. I may just leave this the way it is. I actually really like the green in the floor, the contrast with the the slabs. This is the original base of the um, of the battle tower that was here. Back here goes down to, I've got just a little bit of stuff here to, you know, for convenience sakes. And this goes down to our smeltery room and our storage. And you can see I've got some of the things um, labeled already. I started to build some of our, our tools that we'll need to uh, start getting weapons and so on. We're going to have to do some resource gathering, but that's a good start anyway. Um, trying to think. I've got some patterns. I still need to go do some more exploring, get some more patterns. It's been a while since I've played, guys, so I'm having to reorient myself to the world a little bit here. Let's see. I think it's getting on for dark, so we'll go up and sleep just to give ourselves a uh, kind of a safe start, I guess. And that will give us a chance also to explore the rest of the house. Uh, let's see. Go up here. You can see we've got our bed set up. I may still change this up just a little bit. I haven't really made up my mind yet for here. Um, I haven't done anything behind the stairs. I may do something there as well. And then up here is just our observation tower. I think I've already shown you guys all this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time walking around and explaining anything. I, I can't remember what I've already recorded. It's been an extremely busy week and, you know, as per usual. So there, we'll sleep the night away. That'll get rid of most of the mobs and then we'll go find something, some kind of mischief to get into because I'm sure it's out there. Um, Lord knows we've had no trouble at all finding finding problems to get into and hex it. We're going to head over to the village and see what's going on over here. It's another one of those wells. You know what? Okay, it's got the water flowing. We have a water bucket. We don't have another bucket. I was going to say, because what we could do is if I break this glass, the lava will just flow down which actually will just turn it into cobble, make it kind of a permanent cobble uh, generator. Yeah, I don't feel like messing with it right now. I just don't have enough buckets on me to... I could just take the lava out, and I, that's probably what I'll end up doing in the end, but for now. I thought we might tackle this trap today, just for giggles. Now, I, as far as I can tell, I watch another YouTuber, um, Adults Only Minecraft, 
he is relatively for the parents that watch my channel he is relatively child friendly but he does make some adult jokes that so if you have young kids you, you know if you're a teenager and you're watching this you're probably you know you're not gonna have a problem watching this guy i don't have a problem recommending him for you if you have young children who you're watching with you know then you probably don't want to you know to take them to his channel but it is a very good channel he's a very funny guy um so yeah but from what watching his channel i believe what happens with this trap is if you break this glowstone i'm not sure how it works but it it triggers the trap and all this collapses and then you you end up down we've seen it before in the other one um you end up down with all the spawners and so on so i'm gonna try yeah see there you go there's all the stuff holding it up and you can see things dropping as I break and I'm not really sure how it works so I'm a little reluctant to um, take too many chances but you know what I think I could stand on the stone is not affected by gravity so I could stand on the stone and break the uh, this stuff ah I see once you break the bottom glowstone it releases that gravel drops it down the hole and there must be some reason that it affects the isn't that something of course now I'm stuck up here and there's gonna be skeletons shooting at me I'll take care of you I'm just gonna get rid of the ones that are right here um, and I'm here and oh there's more skellies there's a lot of skellies me get shot right off this stupid thing oh no there's a creeper spawner oh there it went yep that's what I figured was gonna happen hi guys sup <laughs> oh no I fell down another hole oh well crud that's no good I can't hit my spiders from here what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have one of those creepers come down on my head so I better get out of here hi guess what you're dead all right guys come on one at a time here one at a time i got plenty for all of you bring it spidey get rid of you let's get over here and get rid of these skellies go away jerk oh there's a dark space under that spawner lovely all right come here you jerk I am going to get my butt kicked. Oh, it's a cave spider. Glorious. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I might be in trouble because cave spiders are bad. Okay, we got rid of that. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of the skelly spawner. Yes. Zombies, whatever. Go away, zombie. Let's... Get rid of the... I don't care so much about all right all right seriously enough go away jerk and I got poison again crap go oh, you guys are annoying go away help if I was using my sword go away you lousy spiders lousy all of you you're lousy go away stop giving me poison jerks the poison's what's gonna get me if I'm not careful here all right let's get rid of some of these spawners just so I have a little bit of breathing room pick up some of the loot what I really need is uh, uh oh now it's getting dark again which is going to be bad news if I don't get over here and break these spawners. I better take care of that before we get any further. Especially that cave spider spawner. Okay. Let's get rid of you, dude. Oh my goodness. I should start carrying a bed with me. I really should. Okay, my hearts aren't down too bad, so I'm going to take the time to loot the chests. Okay, we got a new shovel that's not terrible go away you're a jerk go away I don't like you 
and I think I should uh, block off this hole a little bit just to keep mobs from being able to get up here. Uh, let's see. I'll try to keep things from spawning too bad in here while I explore around and pick a few things up. Looks like we got a pretty nice cave down there. But it might not be the wisest thing to go at it. Okay, my hearts are back to full. Well, <laughs> at least we know we can handle these, uh, these traps. They're not that difficult as long as you're aware of what it is. Let's get some more torches going on. I got a few arrows in me, but that's just, you know, it's just part of, part of doing battle. Uh, let's see. Oops, wrong one. Eight. So that's how you defeat that particular trap, though. You just have to uh, stand on a block and drop the gravel, preferably without being, you know, underneath it when it falls or being dropped and then ending up with a bunch of fall damage from, I'm sure, oh, there's diamonds down there. Sweet. Oh, I see the skeleton. Hi, buddy. What's up? That's not my arrows. There we go. Oh, come on. Where are you, buddy? Come here. Take care of him. I think I got him. Yep. Okay, so that's good for right now. We'll we'll go down there and explore. I've made it bit. almost through a whole episode and I haven't died yet. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. but Not yet, anyway. I haven't, I haven't died yet. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen this episode. Because let's be real, it happens all the time. This is Hexit, after all. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. Is it more entertaining to watch me die? Or is it more fun to watch me play and figure these traps out without dying? That will be an interesting question. Which brings me to the uh, topic of comments. I just wanted to very briefly mention, I did get my first, I, I don't even know if I can uh, legitimately call him a troll. It wasn't really a troll comment, but it was... Um, Somebody told me I should uh, come back to YouTube when I'm 18, which really made me laugh. I was like, well, that's going to be a while because I've passed 18 here about 23 years ago. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay, dude. You know, and he was kind of the typical, oh, you know, you suck. You should. Well, then. Oh, that's a, that's a meteor. We should go check that out. That was a meteor crashing. Oh, my goodness. We should check that out. Um,. I don't know how to find it though. How do you find where they landed? See, I'm down here in the caves. The village is over here. And I don't know if it shows up on the map. Crud. Okay, maybe not. Um, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Why not? Ah, I just had all those. I should probably just keep this in my inventory so I can get into it easily. Let's see. Get that out of my way. Put them in. Um, yeah, so I started to talk about the... Oh, that's probably not a good... Well, yeah, it is. That's fine. I um, started to talk about this kid who left his, his comments. And I see it quite a bit on YouTube that people... Um, I don't know what the reasoning behind it is. I find it both amusing and annoying, I guess, at the same time that people th will come onto a channel and usually it's, you know, when somebody's young or, or just starting out, which I am just starting out. I'm not young, but I am just kind of starting out. Um, oh, I don't see where it could have landed. Oh, hi, Mr. Creeper. Go away. I don't want your cookies. No cookies for you. Um, so yeah, it's very common to come onto YouTube channels and tell somebody that they stink and they shouldn't be doing this and, you know, they should without really offering uh, constructive... Hi! Go away! Oh my goodness, you jerks. Hi, jerks. Go away. Oh, now I've got blindness. Nice going. And a bear. Hi, Mr. Bear. I should probably leave now. I just bear right off, didn't I? That bear looks mad. I don't think he liked getting blown up. Oh, there's Endermen all over. Okay. Maybe we'll look for the meteor later. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> it's 
considering I'm down to one heart. Uh, let's see. I need food. You zombies are really annoying. Is there a- there's a creeper in the wall. Look at him bounce. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, yeah. Why don't I just, uh, motor my way on out of here before I have every mob on the planet after me. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hopefully I'm faster than you. You don't even look all that interested in me, so should be fine. Okay, so yeah, so as I was saying, I got my first, you know, not even really a troll. I mean, I don't think he was meaning to be a troll, but that's honestly all you're doing. When you come onto a channel and you say things like you suck and, you know, he didn't say you suck, but just, to, you know, as an example, um, I can't remember the exact wording, but it was basically, you know, I only watched 30 seconds of your video because it was so bad and, you know, these videos are terrible and you should you should change your name and and not do YouTube and you know all this kind of thing <laughs> look at that the night bloom opened and I thought you know first of all if he'd read the description of my channel that really made me laugh because uh, you know if you'd read the description of my channel you would realize I'm a mother of teens <laughs> okay I'm not, I'm not some young kid here and even if I was some young kid who are you to tell me I shouldn't do YouTube you know when, isn't that the point of the community to um, give people an opportunity? And not everybody who does YouTube is going to be a professional, especially on their first early videos. These guys have only been doing this for a couple of months. And I'm learning as quickly as I can, but it's not a perfected thing. I, I hope that I'm going to grow and change and develop and hopefully bring you guys more entertaining content. I really appreciate the early subscribers who... Um, are putting up with <laughs> my learning process. You guys really rock and I will never forget that you subscribed early on and, and uh, you know and became my initial supporters. You know.